1031s. They've been around a long time, and it's a like kind property held for investment purposes. Correct. Um, and, and also, uh, as far as the structural changes, it's got to be for a business reason. It mm-hmm. cannot just be to uh, um, uh, play the tax code. Right. So there really needs to always be a, uh, a business reason, why are we doing this, mm-hmm. uh, to, uh, to alter the structure, change the structure in it. Um, but with the uh, 1031s, um, what uh, I guess let's talk about that a little more. They've been um, 1031ing into. Uh, we've seen a variety. I had a farmer out in Nebraska who uh, did, had a million dollars of water rights on a property, mm-hmm. and uh, didn't need them. Uh, and so he was able to do a 1031 exchange of those and went into uh, multifamily uh, apartment buildings mm-hmm. and. Um, Gosh, might have been storage unit, something mm-hmm. else. Sure. And it was great. He, he had yeah. no idea you could do that. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, there's 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 kind of as I say many ways to skin a cat. You know, yeah. there's a lot of different ways to look at it. Um, you know, it depends on on what the as you said the the rationale and the background of it. They may be looking at the financial reasons for doing a 1031 exchange. It may be to simplify their lifestyle. You know, maybe they're they're you know at a retirement age where they want to just not have the direct um, involvement in the real mm-hmm. estate assets any longer. We see that a lot. Yeah. Uh, we even see people who, I'm not sure if this is quite as much the case now, but owned investments in extremely highly appreciated markets. Mm-hmm. And, and I guess you could say that certainly here in Denver. Sure. You know, you could be in a neighborhood or a part of the city that has gone up tremendously. And you say, you know, I've got an opportunity to buy another property in another market or another part of the country mm-hmm. where I feel like there's more runway to eventually sure. see some appreciation. Yeah. So um, we, we've seen a lot of those types of, of situations. We've but, had some of those recently uh, trades that have been owned for 50 years in uh, downtown San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty appreciated. Yeah. You know, yeah. talk about the risks there. That's another another big element as far as if you want to reposition a piece of real estate. Um I always try to look first and foremost at the investment. Right. It's got to be a good investment. Then let's look at the taxes. But if it's not, if it's not a good investment, the taxes aren't going to make up for it. Right. Right. So being able to reposition into a better market, as you say, it's got more runway, more potential, or. Uh, Let's say that doesn't have as much uh, what I call legislative risk, mm-hmm. um, where the, uh, the, for instance, San Francisco, one of the things they were afraid of was the seismic assessments. Oh, sure. Which complete wild card. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So uh, they they got out and were able to uh, uh, position them into I think a portfolio of four or five different products around the country. Mm-hmm. So that was great. Got geographic uh, diversification, uh, sponsor diversification, market sector diversification. Yeah. So that was a good one. Mm-hmm.